call it call Amy a shoe. Have you ever heard of the Ninja Bomb? Of all the weapon technologies, there are probably very few that deserve their nicknames so well. Picture this, a missile with lethal blades designed to obliterate a specific human target while minimizing collateral damage. This particular weapon was used to take out Al-Qaeda leader Abu Qair al-Masri in 2017. And that was just the beginning. Before we delve deeper into the details of this unique weapon, it's essential to explore the technological platform on which it was constructed. A platform that, much like the Ninja Bomb, perfectly embodies its moniker. This is Military Mechanics, and in this episode, we will talk about the AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. The AGM-114 Hellfire is a family of laser-guided missiles serving as a key component of the US Army's anti-armor capabilities. Developed by Boeing and Lockheed Martin, the Hellfire project was initiated in 1974 in response to the pressing requirement for a helicopter-launched air-to-ground missile system that could effectively engage both fixed and moving targets. Originally called Heliborn Laser, Fire and Forget Missile, the nickname Hellfire stuck and eventually became the official name. Throughout their service history, Hellfire missiles have been deployed against high-profile terrorist targets across various conflict zones, including Iraq, Yemen, Somalia and Afghanistan. Despite being initially designed for helicopter deployment, the Hellfire missile's versatility has seen them adapted for launch from various other platforms. These platforms include the Navy's SH-60B HH-60H Seahawk, the Army's AH-64 Apache, the Marines AH-1W Super Cobra, and the Air Force's MQ-1 Predator and Reaper. In terms of technical specifications, the Hellfire missile measures 5.33 feet in length, with a diameter of 7 inches and a wingspan of 28 inches. The missile's weight can range from 98 to 107 pounds. The Hellfire AGM-114 missile series exhibits a modular design comprising five main sections the Homing Head, Command and Navigation System, or CNS, the Combat Unit, Battle Component, or BC, the Control System, the Engine, and the Controls. The Control System consists of a compressed gas cylinder, a thermal battery, an autopilot, and a three-stage gyroscope within the inertial control system. The propulsion system of the missile relies on a solid propellant rocket, specifically the Theocol TX-657. Hellfire AGM-114 missiles are launched using Lockheed Martin Marvin M299 and M310 missile launchers, providing versatile deployment options across different combat platforms. The Hellfire family of missiles includes a multitude of models. The AGM-114L is one specific model that has been engineered for exclusive deployment on the AH-64 Apache Longbow attack helicopter. The latest variant within this missile family is the AGM-114R, also known as the Hellfire Romeo, designed to replace all previous Hellfire 2 missile configurations. This version consolidates the capabilities of earlier models into a single powerful missile system. Due to its improved guidance system and superior navigation capabilities, the Hellfire Romeo can be launched from higher altitudes compared to its predecessors. The newly integrated multi-purpose warhead enables the missile to engage and defeat hard, soft and enclosed targets, providing greater flexibility to pilots and increasing the overall effectiveness of the missile system. Among its many advancements, the three-axis inertial measurement unit is a key feature, allowing launch platforms to engage off-axis targets without having to maneuver into position. Now it's time for the most secretive and exotic variant of this weapon platform. 
The AGM 114 R9X, also known as Ninja Bomb, is a variant known for its precision strike capabilities. Equipped with six retractable meter long blades, this missile can neutralize a single individual while sparing surrounding civilians. Developed by the CIA, it has been deployed by the Joint Special Operations Command since its secret introduction in 2017. Its operational history is marked by several successful missions against high-profile targets. This includes the neutralization of Abu Khair al-Masri, a prominent al-Qaeda leader in 2017. The elimination of Jamal Ahmad Mohammed al-Badawi, the architect of the 2000 USS coal bombing in 2019, and al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri in 2022. This selective and precise weapon has proven to be an effective solution to complex combat situations where enemy combatants use civilian populations as shields against airstrikes. The R-9X represents a significant advancement in missile technology, symbolizing the balance between lethal power, precision and the depreciation of collateral damage. <laughs>